Hey guys, as you know, this is math class, and unfortunately, we're not together in class anymore so that I can see what you're doing as you're doing it, which makes it a lot harder for me to help you and to figure out if you are making mistakes, where we're going wrong with those mistakes. So it's gonna be necessary for this NTI period that you give me a copy of your scratch work so I can see your process and know how best to help you. I know that's a pain in the butt, um, so I've tried to give you lots of options for how you can show me that work. So that's what I'm gonna do in this video here. So I'm gonna use the plan for the week of my um, second, third, and fifth period class, or I'm sorry, second, third, and sixth period classes as an example, but it still works for everybody. So let's say it's Tuesday, so I'm here working on the Tuesday work. I've watched the videos, and now I'm ready to go here to the classwork tech row. So classwork, here's the Tuesday classwork. You notice it's a Google form. And you know that I love um, Google Forms because they help you guys to figure out if you're doing it correctly as you're doing it. And so all you gotta do is click on the link and put in your answers to show me that you know what you're doing. Um, obviously, it makes it a little bit harder for you to show your work because it's a Google form. So I wanna to talk to you about a couple of different options that you have in order to do that. So first thing, if you have a device that has a, um, a touch screen like a phone or a tablet, when you open up the Google form, you can do what I'm doing right now and you can just do screenshots. So you can actually do the work right there on the Google form. And then still be, and then, oh, well, don't do what I just did because I think I just deleted that screenshot. Sorry. So do the work right there on the Google form. When you click done, click save to photos. You know, as you scroll down to each question, make sure that you're doing the work for each of those problems. So problem number one, I'm going to do my scratch work. Done. I'm going to save, et cetera, et cetera. And then... When I've gotten finished, when I've put in all my answers for that Google form, I can go back to the assignment and I can go to, first of all, make sure you're always starting off at that classwork tab. It's definitely the most important now, especially. It's always going to be labeled right here under the heading of NTI. I hope you know that because of the video. And make sure you're clicking on, you know, the correct week. And so I've done the, the Google form. I've had screenshots as I go. So now I need to upload the scratch work. So I'm just going to click on view assignment. So I'm going to do that. And you'll see right here to the right, there is a section that says your work. So I'm going to click that add or create button. And it's going to allow me to add files from my device, from my photo library. So here are going to be all of my screenshots that I saved. So I can just upload whatever I want to right there. I'm going to click upload. Click done. And I mean, it does look a little bit differently depending on what device you have. Upload it. And as you can see, all the screenshots that you give me are going to be saved right here, again, under your work. A copy of it is going to be saved for me so that I can see your work. So option number one, you can do the Google form. You can just take screenshots and you can write right on the Google form as you're doing it and then just upload those screenshots. Um, option number two, if you feel like that's doing way too much to do the scratch work on every single problem and upload a bunch of screenshots at the end, you can do the Google form and then you can still go to, you can do your work on a separate sheet of paper and then you can just upload one copy of that separate sheet of paper. So again, you're going to the same spot. You're going to the, your work section. Once again, you're going to click Add or Create. And you're going to click File. But this time, I'm going to actually take a photo instead of going to my photo library. Here's my scratch work. 
use photo, upload it, and then voila, there we have a picture of my actual scratch work that is uploading right now. So that is certainly another option that you can do. If for some reason, and I really hope it's a good reason, um, because to not use the Google Forms, um, and I need to let you to let me know what that reason is, if you're having some kind of like tech issues, but ideally, I need you to do the work on those Google Forms so that you can check to see how you're doing as you're doing it. And again, you can just upload your scratch work or you can upload um, the screenshots. Pretty much the only reason that you would not use the Google Form, actually, I can't even honestly think of a reason you wouldn't use the Google Form, but I can think of maybe you have a device that doesn't have a touch screen or a camera. Maybe you need to get your work to me in a digital way. Um, so there's two different ways that you can do that. So the first one, well, actually, this way you have to have a touch screen. Actually, this way you have to have the Google Classroom app. So you'd have to have a phone or you would have to have a device. Um, so you'd click on Tuesday Classwork right here. It will give you the option to open in Google Classroom. So you would need to open it in the Google Classroom tab. And it will give you a paper copy. You're going to click on, I'm doing Tuesday Classwork, so I would click on that. And again, if you have the Google Classroom app, it has this option right there, the little pencil looking thing. And you can actually click that. And you can write right on the worksheet. Just hit the little arrow to go to the next page and so on and so forth. Um, the only thing I don't like about this is it's really hard to see the save button. So the save button is up here, and maybe it's just my iPad, I don't know. But the save button is right there, it's not highlighted, I don't know why. Again, maybe it's just my issue, but for some reason it's not there, um, easy to see, but it's there. So you're gonna click save, and it's actually gonna save a version of your edited classwork. And when I go back to my classwork tab, you're gonna see that It's there. All right, hold on one second, guys. You're going to see it's there. Sorry, I can't hit the pause button on this. Okay, so there is now a version where it says, under my classwork, there's a version right there. It says edited. And there's a copy, you can see the little squiggles I just made on it. It automatically loads an edited copy of that to your work. So again, that option only works if you've got a device that has the Google Classroom on it. Um, so the last option I'm gonna give you is you have to do it all electronically. You don't have something that has um, a touch screen. You don't have something that has a camera so that you can just upload it straight to the thing. You're just gonna have to type right on it because all you have is the internet. That is what these options are for right here where it says your work and Google Slides. So what might be tempting is for you to go to the wrong place sometimes. I'll show you what I mean. Um, so if you go back to the assignment, right here, you need to be in this screen, not the one, like you need to click, it needs to look like this. And you're not gonna type the ones that are directly attached to the assignment. You're gonna look at these right here that say your work, because those are the ones that are automatically shared with me. So let's say it's Tuesday, you don't have a way to upload your work for me, you don't have a touch screen. You're gonna click on the version right here that says type, oops, nope, you're not gonna click on that one. You are going to click on, sorry guys, hang tight with me for a second.
So you're going to click on the one that says type Tuesday classwork. Type means you can literally type right into it. And you might need to open it. You're going to have to open it into Google Slides. But again, that is a free app that you can use. Okay, so I'm going to click on Tuesday Classwork. And that will actually open up for me a spot where I can type my steps right into the worksheet. So maybe you want to, so again, you want to use this option if you don't have a way to show your work on a piece of paper and then upload it, if you don't have anything with a touch screen. Frankly, if you just have really bad handwriting and you know it's going to be hard for me to read it, then this is the option for you. And again, to get to those options, what you did is you went to where it says your work and you're gonna notice that there is a Google slide version of all of the classwork activities. And once you open them up, it'll automatically save a version to, that's why it's under your work, automatically saves it to your work for me. You don't have to share it with me or anything like that. So to sum up, um, there's several different ways you can submit your work. You can just upload a picture you can upload screenshots, or if you just need to type right into it, you can choose any of these options that say Google Slides, and it'll let you just get an electronic version that you can type right in there. Again, you know, like I said before, this isn't gonna be perfect. I don't know that I'm gonna be doing this all right. There might be some big issues that we run into that I realize we need to fix. So please hang with me, and you know, feel free to reach out if they're is some kind of technical difficulty you have, you know I'm going to understand, and I'm going to work with you. You guys know I will, so um, can't wait to actually talk to you.